Hello. Ah, let me get over here and begin today's video. Let me get this set up here. All right. Hello. This is Barry, the jungle dude. I am here to watch him Barry and the PI. I, I want to thank all of you new subscribers. I've got quite a few of them. And all of those who watched my video, my last video on Filipinas. And so, to be fair, I'm going to talk about Filipino men today. Now, this is based upon my relationships and uh, uh, knowing a lot of uh, Filipino men here since I've moved here five years ago. And so I've noticed lots of characteristics about it. And um, they're generally a very friendly, uh, happy-go-lucky group of uh, people. They uh, they love to have fun. They love to laugh. Uh, they work hard. Very hard workers. Uh, we had a crew of them here building this house. Uh, it was almost completed when we moved here. We moved in and they worked around us. Uh, the uh, I've known a lot of them that were working abroad. I lived in Taiwan for five years, and uh, I met a lot of uh, Filipinos. Uh, some of them were professional jobs uh, in factories, and others uh, did other things. So Filipino men are found all over the the world. They leave their families, their wives, and go off to make more money than they can here. Uh, they're a hardy group uh, that you get together after a hard day's work and buy them some beer, some red horse, and you got a party going. Uh, I've never had any problems with them at these parties. We've thrown parties here before with all, just about mostly Filipinos and Filipinas. And I've never had any problems with them. They're always very respectful. And uh, a lot of the, the uh, men are celebrities. Uh, and women go gaga over them. Uh, I like to think I look like ding dong dandies myself. He's a very popular uh, uh, movie star here. And uh, my wife and her sister, we were at a mall one time and there was a, a tall, a uh, Filipino guy there, and he was a celebrity, a famous singer. And of course, they went gaga and had they get their pictures taken with them and all of that. And uh, I've noticed that a lot of, uh, lately, it's uh, there's more Western women coming over to visit the Philippines and find them a man. Uh, that's that's growing, you know. The Western women complain about uh, uh, these uh, beautiful island girls here, and a lot of Americans are coming over to find one for a girlfriend or wife. And so, some of them, Western women uh, are upset about that. So uh, that 
most Filipino men are, are like the Filipinos. They, they like to have fun. They like to laugh. Uh, and they're just a very laid back group of people, much like Texas. And uh, so I've got nothing but admiration for them. Uh, we're here. Uh, this area is, is not densely populated. Uh, we have a one street that's uh, unpaved that runs in front of our house. Uh, that's my walking street. And uh, I can walk down, down at the end is the jungle. There's a bamboo, well, it was a bamboo bridge. Uh, it's in my past videos if you want to see those. And uh, I enjoy walking down that. I don't like walking back because it's a big hill. And I'm getting old. So, uh, but there's a family that lives there, a large family. Uh, I think the, well, some wives and some husbands and some kids uh, live there and uh, one of them operates a sorry sorry store uh, and we often hire them to do work around the, our house. Uh, matter of fact our yard guy is, uh, is one of those who lives down there and uh, usually he's here six or seven days a week, uh, taking care of our yard for us. Uh, so I'm too damn old to do that work anymore. And the way things are been lately, it's hot out here. Uh, we had to turn the air conditioner on twice now. Uh, usually we don't because we're up, uh, I guess about 1,500 uh, meters high, uh, and it, we get, usually get cool breezes through here. But the temperature has been in the 80s. I think today's 87 is a high, and 74 for a low. So we don't have too many hot days here. It's usually pretty cool and it saves on that air conditioning. Uh, electricity here in the Philippines is expensive. And uh, we're, I think we're going to put in solar uh, soon. I need to get the guys out here and give me an estimate. Apollo, what are you doing? Apollo's humping butter. <laughs> All of our dogs are fixed, you know. Uh, they still get into it. <laughs> They're Filipino dogs. And so uh, we try not to use that air conditioner. Usually we don't have to. Even inside the house, it's a cool breeze. But we're in a, a big heat wave throughout Southeast Asia. And uh, just, Apollo, stop that. Apollo's just a little shih tzu and uh, Butter is much bigger, and she has to lay down for him to, to get anything. And uh, he's a horn dog, that's for sure. And uh, get off it, butter. Um, acted like me when I was 25. And uh, I've, we've lived here for five years, and uh, we always find locals that are willing to do work for us. 
and uh, it's been really good. Uh, gives them jobs and money and helps them take care of the family. Uh, um, that is family down here. We sponsored is a I guess teenage son as a scholar and, and so we we help out with the books and stuff and uh, tuition and things like that. Uh, he's a real good kid. He comes up and scoops up these trees and gets those big jackfruits down for us. Uh, they're a real, real nice family there. Uh, so, uh, Filipinos uh, work in uh, whatever jobs they can get. Some of them are well educated. Uh, my son in law is a civil engineer. Uh, when we were, when we moved in, uh, he was heading up finishing the house. Uh, and he was also building houses on his own. Uh, he built a new Barangay Hall down Mar Marigadon, something like that. I have time, problems pronouncing some of these Filipino words, these Tagalog words. Uh, so uh, that's uh, that's a. Uh, uh, most of what I wanted to talk about, uh, as I say, the uh, people here are, the, the real treasure of the Philippines is its people. And uh, I really appreciate living here and them allowing me to get my v permanent resident visa. And uh, my wife and I have really enjoyed living here. Of course, she was happy here. Uh, Daughter lives in Alfonso, and uh, the grandkids and her husband, uh, they come over sometimes, and uh, we go over there sometimes. So. Uh, a lot of them work real hard. Uh, Elmar, uh, our son-in-law, he not only builds houses, but he started about five small businesses in Alfonso. We got an aquarium uh, supply, uh, a car wash, a uh, Korean ch style chicken, fried chicken, and uh, Carinderia. Uh, so he's put his money to, to work and he provides a lot of jobs. Uh, for his friends and for family too. So he's a go-getter, and uh, we enjoy having them around close by. I know my my this year certainly does, because uh, <coughs> my dad had to leave uh, the Philippines as an overseas worker, and uh, she missed a lot about. Uh, raising Aiko up, uh, so she's she's enjoying time that she missed with Aiko, and uh, so uh, the Filipino guy men are are a lot like the Filipino women. They're they're uh, laid back, hard workers, and. Uh, just really nice people uh, to get to know. I like to laugh, they like to play, they like to drink occasionally, for special occasions, you might say. And uh, we, uh, we think and feel like we, we found our paradise here. Uh, we've got this big yard uh, and all kinds of fruit trees and uh, tropical trees and plants, and which is, I like planting and tending to them some. I'm good watering. 
I'm good at watering. That's about all I do is uh, water. That's my chore. And uh, so I really appreciate all of y'all who uh, started watching my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it. It uh, means a lot to this old guy. <coughs> I'm, I'm 81, by the way, in case you're wondering. Uh, so I make do with what I have, and uh, we have a good time. Uh, we get together with, we've had several parties here. Uh, maybe we'll have one on my birthday, and uh, you're all welcome to come. So take care, have a great day, take care of your family, your kids, don't forget your pets, keep them locked up, don't let them run around, and uh, we'll see you again maybe tomorrow, uh, y'all, uh, and I, I'm from Texas and went to University of Texas, so hook them horns, we got a good team this year. And uh, so adios, amigos and amigas, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.